today I'll be showing you guys my makeup routine. This routine I do on a regular basis when I do my makeup. Of course, you have to start off by moisturizing your lips. I'm using the Nubian Glow from Juvia's Place. And this lip balm is so bomb. It keeps my lips so hydrated. I love it. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid is what I use to skin prep. Um, I apply this all over my skin. This just helps close my pores, even out my skin tone. And then I lock it in with a moisturizer. The moisturizer I usually use is from my Amazon storefront, the B5 Penothal. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but you can find it linked on my storefront. It's a Korean skincare brand, so it's a really good moisturizer. After applying my moisturizer, I use the Milani Make It Last Setting and Prepping Spray. This just helps lock in more moisture. Let that dry a little bit and then apply your foundation. I'll use the Born This Way by Too Faced, the 24-hour matte foundation. And it's in the shade Nude. I also use the shade Ivory. And as I was applying my foundation to my cheek, I literally realized I forgot my primer. For primers, I like to use the Good Grip from She Glam, the Power Grip from e.l.f., and the Poreless Putty Primer also from e.l.f. Now, because I didn't apply my primer, the foundation didn't sit too well on my skin and you'll kind of see that later on in the video. Just continued to blend my foundation all over my face. I do avoid the under eye area because it tends to get cakey when I apply my concealer. I'm using the Hourglass Concealer in the shade Cream on my under eyes. This is a really creamy, full coverage, lightweight concealer. I love it so much. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It's such a good concealer that at some point I'm gonna buy another shade to use just on my acne or blemishes or dark spots because it's so full coverage but very lightweight that it doesn't even get cakey. The sponge I'm using is from Real Techniques by the way. For setting powder, I've been loving the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. I love it. It's in the shade Butter and it literally applies just like butter and it smells so good. It makes your skin look so soft and velvety like chef's kiss. If you need a new powder, try this Pro Filter Powder. Now for contour, I'm using the Essence Contouring Dual Palette in the shade Darker Skin. And this is a cool toned powder, so yes, it's going to accentuate your cheekbones. And now for bronzer, I'll be using the Remo Linden Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. Now your bronzer should be warm toned. Your bronzer is going to help look like you've been outside, like you've gotten some sun. It's going to help blend in your foundation if you're looking too pale. But your bronzer is not meant to define your face. That's what your contour is for so you could do one or the other or you could do both like i do now for my nose contour i'm using the essence palette and i don't use any bronzer over my nose contour because i just want it to look like shadow i don't want it to look like warm tone i just want it to look like a shadow like if my nose was naturally built like that literally <laughs> and yes it does matter what type of brush you're using when you're doing your nose contour you want a more longer narrower brush instead of using a fluffy thicker brush it's just you're needing your nose contour to be super defined so you need like a super precise brush in order to do that and you know how we do that line across our nose well i've learned a trick to use little to no product on your brush first and then slowly build it up because then you get that super harsh line and then you can't blend it out i always blend my nose contour with a clean makeup brush and then i bake to help remove unwanted shadows fun fact to bake the bridge of my nose and the little button i use the jaclyn hill brightening lilac powder i don't use my face powder on that area because i need it to be really bright and the regular setting powder will not do that for me only a brightening powder will so i apply that on the bridge of my nose and the little button nose so that when i blend it away it like it looks lifted and that the light is hitting there naturally and now for blush i'll be using the color pop pretty toast blush and i'm gonna apply this to my cheekbones once i remove the bake from my nose i will also apply it to my nose my nostrils and uh, my chin and forehead To 
set my face, I'm using the Pretty Fresh um, ColourPop Setting Spray. Setting spray is really important. It just helps melt all the makeup together. It, it helps erase any white cast that you might have with your powder or brightening powders. For lashes, I'm using the Kiss Lash Couture. The collection is called Matte Black and the style I'm using is Matte Velvet. Um, they're super cute lashes. I also bought the Style Matte Twill, which is the four pack that you saw. And those lashes are also so good. I love wearing my contour on my eyelids, so here I did just that. And I do blend that into my nose contour. I'll now add a decent amount of lash glue to my eyelashes and my favorite thing to do ever is to use Lash Tech tweezers. You can find some linked on my Amazon storefront. Now, if you were to ask me what's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to makeup is when I see white eyelashes under your falsies. Like, please just take the time to put some mascara on your lashes. Even if you have falsies on, it helps blend them so well that you can't even notice the powder or foundation on your lashes. But trust me, I will notice something like that. So please, please just always remember to apply mascara when you have your falsies on. For lip liner, I'm using the Juvia's Place Sweet Nothing Lip Liner. One of my favorite things to do to make my lip liner last longer is to apply setting powder to my lips. After applying the powder, I did realize that my lips looked too light so I went in with a darker shade which was the Toast Lip Liner from Kimchi. And for highlight, I used the Divine V Highlighter from Celestia Beauty. here is when i take the time to look at myself and try to find different things to touch up on like i noticed my lash line could have been a little bit darker because you can kind of see the glue so i decided to add some black eyeliner to my lash line and then i also ended up changing my lip color one thing about me is that if i don't like the makeup look i always change something which is either adding an eyelash wing making my eyebrows darker or changing my lip color so in this case i did change my lip color and boom everything just changed like i felt better about my makeup look This right here is actually the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. You do have to heat it up with the lighter. And this is the shade Dark Brown, but I also like the shade Medium Brown. And I use the cap to blend the lip liner. Usually with any lip liner, I always use the other side to blend my liner. And then I set my lip liner to make it last even longer. And that's the final look, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you.